Okay, Congresswoman Johnson, a very resounding victory. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. What do you attribute your resounding victory? It was speculated there would have been a little competition in the race with some of the other candidates, uh, but honestly, you blew away the field. What do you attribute your victory to? I think probably the voters compared the records. Mm -hmm. um, I have worked hard. I've achieved. I didn't know anything that I could say or anyone else could say that my opponents had achieved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, what now, how you, you step forward, I mean, you're, you're going to be against a Republican opponent in November, but, but you know, uh, you're heavily favored, to, uh, heavily favored to, to win that. So how do you think ahead now about your agenda for the district? Well, of course, my agenda for the district is, is kind of permanent, but how I intend to achieve it will depend on what happens in November. Uh, it is really, uh, with all I hear about all these promises, uh, which tells me that people have no clue about what it takes to achieve a victory when you're working on issues. Uh, clearly, uh, if we have a majority in the Democratic Party, when I go back in January, uh, my achievements will be probably greater, although I will say that um, 12 of the years that I have been in Congress, I have been in a minority. So I had to have had to work across the aisle because I did not stop achieving. As a matter of fact, I achieved some of my greatest victories uh, in the things that I brought to Dallas when I was in a minority. So I don't give in and I don't give up. I just know the reality tells me that with the experience we've had this term, uh, unless there is a change in the makeup, uh, it will be more difficult to achieve some of my highest goals. But I never stop trying and I never stop working. Okay. One last question. Uh, how do you feel, how will your issues in your district and, and in Texas overall parallel with the issues of the nation as President Obama runs for, for re-election in November? Well, I think our issues are the same and certainly parallels with the rest of the nation. Uh, I think that, you know, I want opportunity, fairness, to restore the all-American dream for people so that they will feel that, uh, especially young people, if they go to school, get education, and achieve, there's a bright future. I want to make sure that that is the case. And right now, we know that we have young people graduating with so much debt and no jobs that it's very difficult for them to achieve that dream. And some, uh, we have to keep uh, saying, uh, the dream is available. We will restore those opportunities. That's what I'd like to do. All right. Congresswoman Johnson, congratulations once again. Wish you well down the road. Thank you. Thank you.